Canva just dropped its latest AI features and we had to test it out. It's the all new Canva AI and in this video we're going to be checking it out based on the three essential things that everybody literally use LLMs for. How good is the coding, the image generation and of course the writing. Now one feature actually stood out for us but you're going to find out at the end of the video. So you want to make sure you watch this video to the end. Are you excited already? Let's jump right into the video. Melanie and her team in this new update of Canva has made it an all-in-one content factory. Now, instead of switching from one suit to another for audio generation, image generation, and even writing, it can now be done in one project on Canva. Now, that's the what got our attention. We are going to be stress testing the latest Canva AI, also a new feature on Canva, to see how good it actually is with the promised coding and the writing and even image generation. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time of coming across our channel, ensure to subscribe. And if you're returning, ensure to like the video so that the algorithm can share this video with more persons. Now, let's start with Canva's writing. So, on... The Canva's latest feature, this is what the interface looks like, by the way. So I'll just head down to Canva AI and I already have a prompt for the writing that I want to get from Canva. So All I'm right. just going to paste it. Write a narrative African story that teaches children resilience as moral lesson, use human characters. The story should not be more than 200 words. Now let's see what Canva is going to give us. All right. We got this. Sorry, I'm not sure how to respond. So I think I'm okay. going to make the prompt to be shorter and let's see, maybe Canva will be able to respond to that. Yeah, maybe we can just say, write a children's story that teaches resilience. Okay, so I'll take so out. I, I wouldn't actually blame Canva AI. This is like ChatGPT 1.0, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so um, we, are, we are not supposed to actually expect so much of this, but it's something that is definitely going to keep improving the more it has been trained with, you know, all of the data that, you know, it's been given by people trying it out. So now I've made the prompts shorter okay. and let's see the result that we are going to get from Canva. All right. It's actually now thinking. Thinking, yeah. <laughs> so now we have a response. Okay. Um, here's a short narrative African oh. story that teaches the Sorry, value. Can you, can you find out is, if there is a use of Baobab tree that will only get from <laughs> chat GPT and the rest? Is there any, any use of Baobab tree? No, no, no. We don't have okay. Baobab I tree. think I would actually prefer to use this though. <laughs> All right, so here's a short narrative African story that teaches the value of resilience. So once okay. upon a time, but I noticed that it's using a word savanna. Okay. Like savanna yeah, it's after. Africa. All right, yeah. Once upon a time, in the heart of African savanna, lived okay. a young elephant named Kofi. Kofi was smaller All right. than the other elephants. Blah blah blah, and then. The ending says, this story teaches children that even when things are tough, it's important to keep going and mm -hmm. never give up. Resilience is a value trait that is a valuable trait that can help us overcome any obstacle. So this is a, is a very good um, African tale for children. Yeah. So um, because we actually had to reduce the prompts, okay, that was when Canva AI was able to respond. But I think one of the, uh, you know, the AI for writing that i like on canva is the one you actually find inside of when you are probably doing whatever inside of your design that's magic right yeah. okay so i've used that a lot of times to probably rephrase my writing make my writing for more fairy doors and the rest of them based on this i think the story is not bad all right the story is not bad but but then just the fact that if you want to you know make the prompt more elaborate you know it it might you know it might not, it might not give you any response all right now based on image generation by canva ai um we're gonna first try 
um, getting it to actually generate an image, okay? So, and then we're going to try getting it to remix an image, like, you know, the Ghibli style animation and the remixing of images that is trending on chat GPT and the rest, <laughs> okay? So let's see if Canva can do both of, Canva AI can do both of them because, uh, so when you tap on the Canva AI, you're going to see create an image, all right? Now I'm going to actually go to, um, so I'm going to tap on create an image, and uh, now it's asking me for style, the aspect ratio, and all of that. So the last time we tried to put in an elaborate prompt, Canva AI <laughs> crashed. So let's see. I'm going to just paste this prompt here. Okay. And um, I hope it doesn't crash. Now so. let's um, tap on okay. enter. Oh, wow. It did. It did. It did. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Well, let's try. Let's look at the image uh this looks quite good this looks quite good so look at this one as well maybe i should try to compare it with what we got from from rev between revs generation and canva ai generation which do you think is the best now let's try canva image remix i have a friend we make this image into ghibli style animation i'm going to tap on this addition sign so i can bring in the image that i want to remix oops uh this generation may not meet our policy okay so that means that uh, we cannot remix images on, on canva, canva yet. ai yet yes that's the word that's the word <laughs> yet finally let's get on to the bottom part of the whole review of canva ai and that is the code for me so now on canva i'm gonna tap on code for me all right so it's actually as simple as just saying what you want you know if you now want to add in some other things let's just say wow it's coding, it's coding. all right so it's coding All right, so this is our version one. This is four minutes. Princess rescue, okay? The princess has been kidnapped and taken across Nigeria. Navigate through, okay? So, okay. Um, so, I don't know what's going on. But you just need to play the game. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to play the game. Okay nine lives i don't know maybe that's me <laughs> maybe that's the princess on red right and then maybe that's the princess on red okay wait a, wait that is not i'm not actually supposed to be touched by the red thing because mm. immediately i'm seeing lives one so i'm not supposed to be touched by the red thing let's just say that um it's still learning exactly all right Although that if we actually decide to just this um build the website, it would it may look much better. More better. Right. So if we should go back and um okay, let's go back to the home and um tell it to probably build a website for me. All right. All right. So it says FISA NASA. That's not my name. <laughs> so, information security consultant, um, getting torch. Well, the only thing I'll just need to do is to edit, right? Yeah. So, if I just tap on using a design, I should be able to, you know, edit it. So, I did not actually tell Canva the colors that I wanted. Mm. So, if we go to using a design, I believe I can now be able to fix all those. Yeah, I can. So, I can now change the color, add the animation, you know. All right, we've come to the end of the video. We've checked out the all the awesome, amazing things that Canva AI is now capable of doing. Betty, what do you have to say? This is really amazing. Like, the image generation, the coding, it's just so beautiful. Canva, well done. With this, you can also watch other videos that we've done in our channel, which should be flashing on the screen right now. And if you're yet to subscribe, do make sure to subscribe to get more amazing um, tutorials like this one. And with this, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.